If you have ever done compositing in Blender, chances are you would have ended up with a fairly large node setup for even a simple look. While Blender has a node-based compositor, most of us are familiar with a layer-based approach found in many photo editing softwares. A layer-based photo editing software allows for a more creative workflow and eliminates the complexity in setting up multiple nodes for every single effect. This is what led me to create the Enrich add-on for Blender two years ago. Enrich add-on aimed to provide a more creative workflow using the pre-made presets that made it super fast to cycle through unique looks on your render. While it was a step in the right direction, it didn't quite reach the fidelity of a layer-based workflow. Today, I'm glad to present the Enrich add-on version 2.0, which brings a suite of features that will make the Blender's compositor even easier to use. Enrich add-on 2.0 introduces the concept of effects. Effects allow you to think in terms of a style you want to add to your render instead of the nodes involved to add that style. There are effects for adding mist, vignette, color grading, and many more with dedicated controls for easy customization. Effects can be easily combined one over another, allowing for a vast combination of looks in just a few clicks. The effect system is truly designed for a layer-based compositing experience in Blender. This new update also brings support for masks. Masks allow you to restrict the areas where an effect is applied. This means you can quickly mask out certain regions from your render and apply effects only to them. Enrich add-on 2.0 retains the presets from Enrich 1. Presets are ready-made setups that are inspired by various photo editing apps and can be used to add different moods to your render. With the new effect system, it is now possible to combine multiple presets together to get entirely new looks. This update also introduces 5 new presets to the pack, which takes the total number of presets to 40. Since Enrich builds on the compositor nodes, pro users can jump right to the compositor anytime to make advanced changes. Enrich does not lock you into using the add-on but acts as a starting point to the post-production workflow. So those were the major highlights of the Enrich add-on 2.0. There's even more, like the dedicated performance mode, preset level settings, powerful new Enrich panel designed from the ground up, and much more. Once you purchase the add-on, you'll get the future updates for free and the video documentation on how to use the add-on effectively. Thanks for watching.